the 23rd of December. It's quite late, it's about half past seven-ish, um, and I just haven't managed to film very much today. I think I showed you Jocelyn painting my fingernails. I've got sparkly red Christmas fingernails, and I've got a large glass of red wine. Really busy morning at work, it's kind of back-to-back -back clients from half past six till 12 o'clock. Managed to leave work about three, which is nice. Um, I think my cold's coming back, so I've not been feeling the best. So I cheered myself up by opening one of the presents that one of my clients gave me. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, the best thing is actually the paper that it came in. This is original vintage 1970s Noddy Holder Christmas paper. Yes, it is. So he's wearing a top hat with, I think, circular mirrors on it. And there's a little sprig of holly. Isn't that just hilarious? Um, Geraldine, the client that gave it, my, my present to me, she's a charity shop rummager and a, a maker. And she always, yeah, we, we get on like a house on fire. So she's been saving that for years until she found someone that she thought would appreciate it. And I was that person. Um, and what she gave me was a tin of Yardley talc in the English rose scent, um, which might not seem like a very good Christmas present to most people, but I love getting smellies. I particularly love talc. Um, and I remember chatting to Geraldine, I mean, months ago. Oh, it smells gorgeous. And um, I remember telling her that my grandma was one of the few people um, that would regularly buy me smellies as a gift. Lots of people think it's a bit naff, um, but grandma always bought me really nice smellies for Christmas or birthdays. And there used to be a shop in Stratford-on-Avon, Crabtree and Evelyn. It's a chain, I'm sure you've heard of them. Um, but she used to go and get me a small tin of Crabtree and Evelyn talc, either rose, which this is, um, or the freesia scent. Um, Normally I just use Johnson's baby powder because it's cheap as chips from Home Bargains. Um, so Geraldine remembered that and bought me a tin of Yardley talc, which is just lovely. So that was nice. Um, I am about to embark, God help me, on the wrapping of the Christmas presents. Um, I usually do this with a glass of wine. And I usually do it in front of the television whilst watching Love, actually. Um, a fantastic rom-com by, I think it's Richard Harris, I want to say. I'm not a fan of romantic comedy, but that one gets me every time. I've still not forgiven Alan Rickman for upsetting Emma Thompson. Um, but the kids like it, so we all watched it together. So I'm now going to have to um, choose something else to watch while I wrap. Probably a Vlogmas. Um, so I just thought I'd open day 23 of my advent calendar with you. And then I can crack on. Okay, this is hot chocolate and marshmallows. It's a drum carded bat of Shetland and Exmoor Blueface. Oh, now that's lovely. I really like spinning Shetland. Um, and Exmoor Blueface is a local breed. Um, and it's a cross between Blueface Leicester and the local Exmoor sheep. Um, so that's going to be really lovely to spin. And there's a bit of undyed that makes the marshmallow bit. Oh, that's gorgeous. Fabulous. Thank you, Ange. I don't think I'm going to have space in the car when we go up to Mum's to take my spinning wheel. Not even my electric one, which is just in that space saver bag cardboard box up there. Um, we're just going to have an awful lot of stuff. So, um, yeah, I'll look forward to spinning that, starting to spin all these minis from the 28th. We're at Mum's. Christmas Eve to Boxing Day, come home Boxing Day, and then we've got Dave's family coming over on the 27th. Um, so the, the serious relaxing starts on the 28th. Um, yeah, so anyway, apologies for the lack of content today. I really am staggering to the finish line um, by the skin of my teeth. So thank you ever so much for watching. Cheers, and let the wrapping commence. I made it to Christmas Eve, people. 
by the skin of my teeth, but here I am. Um, so inevitably I've been awake since 5am because that's who I am as a person now. So I've had a peaceful hour or so, sat in the front room with the dogs and the, the boys have drifted in and out, um, knitting a little bit on my sock. Thank you so much for all the suggestions about what to do with my DK socks. In the end, I picked the just go for it option. <laughs> um, I tried, I'm just starting the gusset decreases, but before I did the heel flap, I just tried the leg on over my foot. I think perhaps it's a little too big, but I'm not sure. I'm getting seven stitches per inch, which is what the pattern that the crazy sock lady says is good. Um, so I'm just going to finish this sock as it is, try it on, and then I can always knit the second sock in a different size and re-knit the first one. So we'll see. The experiment continues. Um, the last day of my Yarn and Yarn Spike advert calendar. I'm going to be sad. This has been such a joy. December has been a rather hard month one way or another. Um, and just a little cheerful squishy parcel every day has genuinely made a real difference. So thank you, Angela, um, for all of your hard work. It's um, It's been marvellous, thank you. Oh, wow. What what a rolag to go out on this is winter wonderland it's a hand blended rolag of corriedale wool neps and angelina that's pretty accurate actually look at it a perfect winter wonderland snail that's absolutely gorgeous i've tucked all these back in the box and i will look forward to spinning them up during twixtmas <clears throat> Tap that back in there. Um, Comrade's feeling loads better today, and so is Dave. So we will definitely go up to mum and dad's, but we won't go until after lunch, I think. The house is in a bit of a state. None of us have packed. The dogs will need to walk, all these sorts of things. And there's no rush. So um, I need to do some tidying. I need to do some laundry. I also need to make cranberry sauce. And I thought you might be interested in my cranberry sauce recipe. I'm sure it's far too late for any of you to actually bother making it, but um, it's a really nice recipe I got from a Sainsbury's food magazine. Sainsbury's is a slightly fancy supermarket in the UK, so it'll be easier if I make the cranberry sauce here and take it up in a couple of old jars than if I take all the ingredients up and try to do it at Mum's house when I'm sure we'll be doing other sorts of prep. So I need to excavate my kitchen and then crack on with the cranberry sauce. Are you ready for Christmas? Come here. I don't think she can move. <laughs> Are you frozen by the tinsel? <laughs> well, so how festive.
can a girl get? She uses the others. <laughs> so I think the Christmas tree lights died. The kids made us start decorating it the other night and then we realised we'd forgot to put the lights on. So we stripped it off. Comrade and I put the lights on, Jocelyn decorated it again and now the lights have stopped working. But, you know, we tried. So that's quite festive. We haven't done a huge amount of decorating this year. Mirror tinsel. Stair tinsel. And I've had some lovely Christmas cards. I haven't got them all up yet. But loads from my lovely nitty friends. Thank you guys. I don't know if you've seen the Dr. Zeus or read Dr. Zeus book, but there's a song from the movie called How Bad Can I Be? Um, even though be it's messy. about capitalism, it's also, it's also about Susie, but they just didn't know when they were writing it at the time. <laughs> so we've sent ours to the boys, because they're in Dave's car, and they're making their Jim the Dog playlist as we drive up. So yeah, i got to so keep my 4G on. When we get that, I'll put that in the drop down box below and you can have a listen and cast your vote you better pick our playlist it, it's going to be our playlist it's brilliant it better be our playlist <laughs> Dad's garden is not secure for the dogs to be left alone, so we're all going to go and have a wee. And don't I look an absolute treat? <laughs> I forgot to say goodnight. <laughs> I'm all tucked up in bed. I'm sharing a room with Jocelyn, who's just over there. Hello. And Susan, who's who's just over there. Um, thank you ever so much to everybody that watched my Vlogmas. It's been really nice being back. Um, I'm. I will try my best to catch up with comments. Um, I will be filming some bits of Christmas Day, um, more for like family archive stuff than anything else, and I will get that up at some point. But I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas Day, and I will see you very soon. Bye.